Elon Musk dared to bring Optimus Robot to the China AI conference where a lot of rivals were also present. And we also know that China can copy anything when Xpeng Zheng 3 is likened to Model X China. With someone who is especially careful about copying things like Elon Musk, and he has also mentioned this issue many times. So why is Optimus Tesla Robot still exposed so openly? Simply because Optimus Gen 2 has nothing worth stealing, so Gen 3 is the official version that Tesla will commercialize. It'll be very different from Gen 2, and as Musk confirmed, it'll be available by the end of the year. While waiting for the storm to come, let's take a look at some of the plans that Musk has announced about his humanoid robot. Stay tuned, because you might want to buy it or rent it immediately. 1. Production plan and number of Optimus robot. I think like next year, my prediction is next year we'll have over a over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. The ambition of having thousands of humanoid robots working in industrial factories has been around for decades. However, so far, almost no company in the world has achieved this. In the June Tesla shareholder meeting, Tesla's owner confirmed that there are currently two Optimus robots performing basic tasks at the factory. So we have two Optimus robots in our Fremont factory that are doing basically this task, which is taking cells uh, off the end of the line and placing them in a shipping container. From two robots to thousands of robots is no small matter. If Elon's goal really comes true next year, this means Tesla will actually start producing humanoid robots by the end of this year. The recent staff reductions might be replaced and offset by thousands of robots in the near future. Many might wonder what tasks Optimus will perform if these robots are deployed in Tesla's factories. We can't predict for sure, but it's clear that they have quite a lot of tasks they could handle in the factory. As Musk stated that they could take the new battery cells being produced and still on the assembly line at Fremont and arrange them into containers for shipping to other factories. Currently, as we understand, Optimus is primarily being developed and researched at Giga Texas, so this factory is likely to deploy a large number of robots to facilitate the monitoring, evaluation, and timely troubleshooting processes. Previously, in some Tesla update videos about Optimus, the process of arranging 4680 batteries into trays only took four seconds to perform, while tens of thousands of 4680 batteries are produced daily at the Texas factory. Therefore, deploying a large number of Optimus robots to handle this task makes perfect sense. Of course, the task doesn't stop at arranging batteries. To develop humanoid robots with more utilities and save costs for the manufacturer, Elon could certainly have him perform simple tasks in the vehicle production process, as well as inspect the factory and machinery systems. There are quite a few tasks that Optimus could take on. Returning to the production of Optimus, it currently does not have an automated production line like vehicle manufacturing and is still primarily assembled manually. Tesla's still mobilizing a significant number of positions for Optimus, AI, and FSD fields. However, Tesla has an advantage. As Musk mentioned earlier, the ability to rapidly expand and accelerate production since Tesla is not heavily reliant on suppliers for humanoid robot products. Basically nothing. There's no supply chain. So even though there are many electric motors made in the world, there's no supply chain for the types of motors and sensors and gearboxes that are needed for a humanoid robot. Components such as motors, sensors, and batteries for the Optimus robot are all manufactured by Tesla itself because they believe that there's no better manufacturer than Tesla for these parts. Although this can bring optimal technology quality and significantly cut the cost of the Optimus robot, the trade-off is that the speed will be slightly affected even though Tesla is familiar with manufacturing these things for EVs. Despite these challenges, Musk is confidently setting a target to produce more than 10 billion robots because he believes the demand for these robots will far exceed that for electric vehicles. You see, buying a car and leaving it in a parking lot for most of the day cannot compare to a robot working continuously, generating benefits and income of up to thousands or even tens of thousands a year. Due to the high demand, Musk also asserts that each person will want to buy more than one Optimus and eventually... The ratio of humanoid robots will be two to one, meaning each person will have two robots. By the end of this year, we will continue to witness the launch of Gen 3 version, the final version that Musk has announced, featuring a completely different design from the current Gen 2 version. But let's talk about his plans for leasing and selling humanoid robot. 2. 
Optimus rental and sales plan. If Tesla Bot becomes available for sale, what price do you hope it'll be? And if you have to rent these monthly, how much do you want that to be? According to Elon's confirmation on X, he wrote, Bots would be offered both as rentals as well as to buy, but the former first. In fact, the rental option was something we had predicted several times before, as it is an effective approach to reduce the burden on both Tesla and customers at the initial launch of Optimus. Previously, Musk has mentioned that there would be quite a few Optimus units working in Tesla factories this year for testing purposes, with a few starting to be available for sale in 2025. We are not sure if the $20,000 price mentioned by Tesla's CEO multiple times is for 2030, but we got to admit that it'll be difficult to maintain such a low price if it's released next year, as Musk said, less over time, which indicates a change in the initial price. The cost will decrease due to a shorter R&D cycle and cheaper Chinese components when Tesla starts producing these at Giga Shanghai. Of course, there will still be many people willing to buy one, or even more than one, if the price isn't $20,000 but instead exceeds forty dollars or $50,000. The simple reason is that Optimus could generate annual profits of up to tens of thousands of dollars, far surpassing the initial cost for customers. If the profit generated by this humanoid robot is indeed lower, it could still pay for itself within just two years. That's in case Optimus is really useful as a homemaker for the family. But otherwise, no one will buy a toy robot for home, even if Tesla does sell them for $5,000. So the utility and the number of tasks it can perform are extremely important. As for the launch program, we think the initial Optimus will mainly be for Tesla employees and celebrities with relationships with Elon Musk, which is not unusual because even in the newly launched Tesla EVs are the same, but Tesla will still deliver very quickly to external customers soon after. As for Tesla creating a humanoid robot rental program, which may also be due to the higher initial cost than expected, Musk did not reveal any other details, such as who Tesla plans to rent the bots to or what the Optimus rental program will look like for consumers and other companies. How to sign up to rent these robots is still unclear. However, we think Optimus rental and sales program will definitely include Tesla's safety conditions and standards to avoid the risks of misuse of the robot. If possible, we would like to see the rental price be lower than $100 a month so that everyone has a chance to experience. Not everyone can afford it when they really need an Optimus. 3. Optimus Development Plan if everything is focused on commercializing the Optimus robot in 2025 from now until the end of the year, the Tesla team will definitely have to complete everything for the humanoid robot if they want to keep up with the schedule, especially when Optimus Gen 2 is not the final version Tesla's chosen before going into production at the latest in third quarter of next year. The Optimus robot still has at least four modifications and upgrades to complete. Design is the first thing Tesla is working to finalize. It will optimize weight and use much lighter materials compared to the current Gen 2, as Musk confirmed on X. The new Optimus design, which will be complete later this year, is something special. This redesign will definitely feature a more eye-catching element and might even include speakers and a voice system inside the head of the Optimus that allows it to communicate and make sounds a lot like a human, as Musk said. Yes, you could communicate with Optimus not stopping there, he also said, Yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice. Um, and, and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. The Gen 3 will be a special version and may also be the final version for Elon to commercialize. We can't think of anything else that could appear in the new design because, you know, Gen 2 did a great job with the appearance of the robot. Maybe Optimus Next Gen will appear with more sparkling lights when the LED system will be added in many positions on the body or something crazier is a robot with all the senses like a human. It's hard to guess because Elon can do whatever he wants, as you know. Optimus Gen 2 can dance like the CEO's familiar dance. So much fun. Although the design is important, it's still only a small part to make the Tesla robot more impressive. But to convince anyone to buy it, we think hands are more important than anything. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. Um, it will be able to play the piano. So it's, it's really like, wow. No need for much debate when debating the 22 degrees of freedom for Optimus's new hand. It's the most anticipated improvement of the year compared to the current 11 degrees of freedom 
doubling the degrees of freedom means that the number of tasks the robot can perform increases a lot. For example, the current version takes four seconds to place a 4680 battery cell into a slot, but after the update, it's only going to take two seconds to do so. In another case, if Optimus is handling a slippery object like an egg very well with 22 degrees of freedom, it can even peel the egg with ease. To put it in perspective, this is only 5 degrees of freedom short of a human hand, which has 27 degrees of freedom and can do almost anything, including making money. So Optimus is certainly not lacking. After the update, this hand will undoubtedly be the most advanced five-finger robotic hand compared to competitors with only 5 to 6 degrees of freedom. So you could say pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, hold the shirt. Uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. Of course, with a better hand, Optimus would still need to have better speed than it currently has. For Optimus to be effective, it would need to be able to travel at at least 2 meters per second, or 3 to 5 miles an hour, instead of the current 0.6 meters a second that would keep it from being compared to Joe Biden. Ouch. Anyhow, as far as we know, Tesla's team's trying to speed up its travel capabilities by improving the hardware in the upcoming Gen 3 update. Musk said, I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year. The hardware of a humanoid robot includes the skeleton, joints, motors, actuators, and the battery. All these components significantly impact its speed. Combined with a design that reduces weight, Optimus will ultimately achieve faster speeds. The Tesla team has also mentioned that they are working to enhance the robot's flexibility further to enable it to navigate various uneven terrains like stairs, streets, and the complex environment found inside the Tesla factory. Of course, a humanoid robot can still optimize tasks that do not require movement, but clearly, compared to a robot that moves faster, there are many advantages. A faster robot can get tasks done more quickly, increasing productivity and reducing downtime between tasks, optimizing the workflow. Most importantly, when Tesla deploys thousands of robots in its factories, agile robots can handle emergencies more effectively, minimizing damage compared to humans. Finally, there is the improvement of the neural network and AI software within Optimus to achieve optimal self-learning capabilities, as Musk said. You can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. Of course, this is not as easy as we think. Although Tesla has a huge experience in AI as well as FSD led by Musk, but when it comes to transferring from EVs to robots, it's a different monster. Optimus requires much more precision and advanced sensors than electric cars. Otherwise, it'll make a lot of mistakes in complex tasks. No, even easy tasks can make mistakes. It's going to be a hassle if you order it to clean the house, and then you have to clean it all yourself again. So in the final version released, Elon certainly has plans for a better AI system than the current version. 4. Big Goal for Tesla Optimus Robot Optimus, I think, is, is a, a 25. Uh, literally $25 trillion market cap situation. Among the announcements about plans and ambitions for his robot products pushing Optimus to a market capitalization of $25 billion is probably the boldest statement Elon has ever made in the history of Tesla. Faced with this announcement, the majority laughed when thinking that $25 trillion is the best joke at the Tesla shareholder meeting next to Musk's dance. You can't imagine how crazy this number is. It means that number is more than half the value of the entire current S&P 500 listed companies. According to FactSet, the combined value of S&P 500 companies is currently $45.5 trillion U.S. dollars. Faced with this goal, the majority say that $5 trillion sounds more feasible and $25 trillion is an exaggeration, while others still believe that Tesla can achieve this goal with Optimus, but it's going to be a long ways off. Elon has predicted that 10% of the market will be occupied by Tesla's Optimus, and eventually 10 billion people on Earth are going to want at least one robot, with a billion made annually. According to this theorem, charging $20,000 will bring $10,000 in profit per person, or a trillion dollars a year, Reuters reported. For such a product to be commercialized, the profit margins would be substantial. Musk has at least lowered his target valuation by a factor of 20. But even so, that still amounts to a $20 trillion market for robots, not to mention another $5 trillion estimated for the self-driving robotaxis. 
Optimus is a particularly important target because it'd be a weapon of destruction for Musk, who'd be able to profit from Tesla's stock with malicious intent, including Bill Gates. Once Tesla finally solves autonomy and Optimus is in volume production, anyone still holding a short position will be obliterated, even Gates, Musk posted on X. The future time-saving potential and technical capabilities of humanoid robots in automotive manufacturing are yet to be seen. But it's an exciting possibility that other OEMs around the world may look to explore in the coming years. Musk also said when it comes to humanoid robots, other companies, including tech startups, are going after the market. Competitors like Boston Dynamics, Agility, Neura, and Aptronic. What really matters is we can be much faster than everyone else, and our product be done a few years before theirs and be better, Musk said. Optimus is a groundbreaking game changer. With its automation capabilities and AI-driven diagnostic tools, it can detect potential issues early before they get serious. Optimus not only automates repetitive and labor-intensive tasks, but also significantly cuts labor costs. Its efficiency and accuracy not only improves operational performance, but also raises quality standards. For business, this means better service delivery, increased customer satisfaction, and reduced labor costs. Elon's vision for Optimus is not just limited to industrial applications. He sees a future where these robots can be integrated into households, handling household chores and daily tasks, thereby improving the quality of life and allowing humans to focus on more creative and rewarding activities. The tactile sensors and precise control capabilities of Optimus make it suitable for a wide range of facility management tasks. Whether handling tools, performing detailed inspections, or carrying out maintenance procedures, this robot operates with consistency and reliability. Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 is not just an advancement, it's a revolution in facility management. The versatility of this technology allows it to handle everything from routine maintenance to complex repairs. This has the potential to address labor shortages and revolutionize how businesses operate. With the Earth facing many problems that humans have a hard time solving, Optimus is more than just a robot. It's a technological revolution. So, let us ask you, what do you think about Elon's plans for Optimus robots, and would you buy one? We hope you learn more about Tesla's Optimus plan after watching this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos when you hit that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you back here soon. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.